Want to know a really cool marketing idea for your business? This works really well for businesses who are local services who want to increase the amount of traffic and exposure to their brand. So what you do is you go through your city and you take photos of landmarks, different places of note. It could be parks or different places that people want to see, things that are uh, require photography quite often, people are looking for. So it could be like the main center of town, it could be some historical buildings, some historical sites, things to go see, the newest, latest buildings that are coming out possibly the library, uh, things like that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go take photos of those, nice photos. You could just use your phone, you don't have to use a pro camera. And then take those photos and you're gonna label them with the proper label. So the name of the library, let's say, and the city. It could even be the date. You just wanna make it really labeled really well before you upload it. And then upload those in high resolution to your website. It's very important that they're high resolution. And then create a page just like the name of your city, photography. And then at the top, you can say, these are free photos. If you want to link back to me, go ahead and free use them for any project you want. That pulls in people who are looking for those images in and they see your brand. And what did it cost you? Literally nothing but your time to go out there and take some photos of different landmarks in your city. You could do this on a weekend and on a Sunday or when you have some downtime and you're just going for a walk. Take a couple photos of your local park and make a list if you really want to do it, a lot of advanced work, you could make separate pages for each one. You could have photography as one main page and it could have a link out to the park, link out to the library, link out to the, the civil, civic center, um, whatever the main landmarks in your town that someone would want photos of those buildings, the inside, the outside, the, the parks areas, like the lookouts and things like that. Whatever it is that someone would be looking for online that are common places to go in your city, Go take photos of those because you know people are always looking for good photography. They can never find good photos for their projects. So they're gonna come to your website, they're gonna borrow those photos. You've got a little message that says they can go ahead and use them for free. And what you get in return is you get traffic to your website, which helps increase your overall SEO. You get exposure to your brand. And you never know, some of those people who come in through that door may turn in to be customers. They may purchase a product or purchase a service from you. You just never know. But ultimately what we did was we increased our traffic. We know for sure sure we will increase our traffic and at the end of the day when you own a website you want to increase your traffic because that increases your search rankings in google and it creates a better standing for your business and for your brand overall and at the end of the day that's what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve so try this photography tip go and do it for the next two three months and then Definitely comment down below if you do it and you've had success getting this done and getting more traffic to your website. I'd love to see your Google Analytics before and after you implement some really good photography on your website. I think that would be really fun to take a look at. This is Joe Phil with Skypoint Studios. As always, I bring you really cool tips like this. So definitely subscribe, stick around. I've got a lot more great tips to drop soon. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I'm gonna see you on the next video.